Oh. 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 Model Making Guru is sponsored by emodels.co.uk. Make something awesome. Hey everyone, it's Fox from modelmaking.guru here. Hello, hello, and welcome to a mailbag video. Another one, yes, people have sent me wonderful gifts and I don't know what they are. And I love it when you guys send me wonderful gifts. It's always brilliant. I love it, I love it so much. I love it, I love it. And I don't know what any of these are. Now I'm braving the heat of the man cave today. It's not as hot as it was yesterday. Yesterday we hit 40 degrees and it was, I couldn't even stay indoors. I couldn't even stay out of doors. I had to just exist in a nether state. It was, it was a nightmare. Today's not so bad. It's still a bit warm, but I've had to turn the fan off so you can hear me so it's getting a little bit warm so if I talk fast it's because I need to get the fan on as quick as I can. Before we get going though a quick shout out to my two major channel sponsors you know them and love them emodels.co.uk link in description below the video if you need to pick up anything your more traditional model making for your aircraft your AFVs your World War II your anything like that even remote control stuff they're the place to go for tools kits and equipment they'll save you loads on anything you need to order and if they haven't got it you don't need it. And of course, let's not forget my very good friends over at Goblin Gaming. For all your tabletop needs, be it models or anything else related to tabletop gaming of any kind, they're the people to go to with massive savings of up to 20% off RRP on ranges like Games Workshop, Malifaux and loads of others. Go and check them out. The link below in the video description is also an affiliate link. So if you use that link to buy your stuff from them, I'll make a little bit of income on that. So not only are you saving bigly, you're also helping support this channel and keep this channel going. So check out those links. Now, let's crack on. Massive jump cut. Yes, I do apologize. The phone crashed halfway through me saying a sentence. It's so hot in here because I can't have the fan on. It's so hot in here. And this thing, when it's connected up to the PC and on the mains getting charged, gets so hot that it just stopped. It just stopped doing anything. So I'm let it cool down. I'm going to have to record this as quick as I can. So it's going to be a rambling stream of consciousness twice as fast as normal. I do apologize. So let's just get this done. So we have two packages, mysterious brown box and this package, which apparently now I work for the gross models testing department. Um, yes, fills me with some trepidation. If you don't know, um, Gross Models is my very f good friend Chris's channel. That's his YouTube channel. Do go and check it out and like and subscribe. He does lots of good content. He's one of my fellow eModels live stream hosts, me, Ted and Chris. But we occasionally send each other stuff. But whenever he sends me stuff, it's always for comedy purposes. Sometimes it's serious, but a lot of the time it's for comedy purposes. So I'm always a little nervous when I get an unsolicited package from Chris. I don't know what's in it. All I know is he's told me it's something to help with the summer heat. Yeah, he knows my weaknesses, so we'll find out. The next package is this mysterious box that has no address anywhere on it at all of any kind. Who can say how the postman knew where to send it? Well, me, because I took the label off the front. It had my address and stuff. But yeah, it, it was in my head. It was a brilliant joke. Never mind. Let's crack on. So. Can I open this one first? This is from my very good friend and follower, Jerry. You'll know him online as Jerry. Uh, he has sent me this. I know roughly what it is, but I don't actually know what it is, but I know kind of what it is. Basically, he wanted to send something for my uh, for my Warhammer army, the unending forces of the Holy Contrivance, which is a Principality of Zeon themed Imperial army. A part of that is some Admech troops. I've got some Skitari in there. Uh, and he says this will go really nicely. Now he sent this, uh, this normally, you'll know Jerry, because he sent me stuff in the past and it's been wrapped in like completely covered in bright yellow or bright red, plasticky, shiny, packing tape. You'll know, you've seen a couple of videos before he sent me loads of wonderful things. Uh, this one, however, he's ordered it from a store and had it sent to me. So it's not come by him. So it's not covered in like three and a half tons of industrial covered plastic coating. It's actually been sent from his, uh, one of his local uh, game stores. It's Marionville Models in Edinburgh, in Livingston in Edinburgh. So if that's one of your local stores, uh, pop in, do say hi. Anyway, let's find out what's in this. Let us unleash the knife of opening. Are we ready? I shall summon all the powers of the universe. Three, two, one. Boop. Oh, let's try that again. Three, two, one. Boop. Ooh, so close. I need more universe, please. More, more universe powers. You ready? Come on. There's a bit of the universe that's not supporting me. Ready? Three, two, one. Boop. Ooh, you little. Boop. Oh, three, two, one. Boop. Oh, three, two, one. Boop. Oh, three. Two, one, three. Oh, flipping have it. There we go. The magic phrase is flipping have it. 
clearly. I don't know. One day it'll do it first time and I won't know what to do. Let's get this open. We'll use the uh, official model making guru, not very sharp knife of no stability and barely of box opening. Let's have a look and see. I'm going to have a quick look and just see what's in here. In case any notes. Doodle do doodle do, 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 do. No notes. Ah, oh, oh, I've just seen what it is. <laughs> Let's get it open, shall we? He has sent me. Wow. He has sent me. Oh, well, there's something in here. Take that out first. He sent me oh, the Scorpius Disintegrator. Let me get that out. We'll have a proper look at it. Oh, Jerry, Jerry, Jerry. What are you sending me now? Oh, hang on. Oh, dude. I thought it was sending me a couple of the uh, Castellan robots or something because it's always it's, it's kind of suit your army with the gun and things. I'm like, OK, oh, look at that. That's even that's amazing. That is not what I was expecting. I'll just get the plastic off because I know it's reflecting in the light. So let me just get the plastic off. Scorpius disintegrator, dude. Yeah, I thought it was just sending me like a couple of Castellan robots or something. I wasn't expecting this. Wow. That's not cheap either. <gasps> Scorpius disintegrator. Look at that. It's basically a landing craft, but it's a hovercraft. A hovercraft landing craft with some of the Mechanicus dudes. Oh, I'm going to have massive, massive fun painting that. Now, I've done my uh, my uh, Skitari dudes in a green colour scheme. So I'll have to figure out what colour scheme to paint this. But that is fantastic. Oh, dude, I can't thank you enough, Jerry. You're, a, you're an angel. Look at that. That is fantabulous. I'm going to have great fun painting that. I'm going to have great fun building that. Oh. All the bits and bobs. You can put all your dudes inside. There's a, there's three dudes. There's the there's the pilot navigator. There's a gunner, and there's a li wee little fella inside. Who's oh two little dudes inside. Wow, there's two dudes. Oh, you get a nice chunk of dudes there. Then awesome, awesome, awesome. It's got a ferromite cannon. It's got a Belarus energy cannon. Twin Cognis heavy stubbers. Uh, it has anything else called up? Not on there. Wow, look at that. That's great. It's a proper landing craft. That is oh, brilliant, Jerry. I cannot thank you enough, buddy. That is fantabulous. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. That will indeed go really well into my army. I shall put that to one side, but that will be done fairly soon. Don't you worry about that. Dude, thank you very much. Now, let's see. <clears throat> let's see what Chris has sent me. Oh, I've got, also got a card in that uh, package, a Warcry card. Launched the 3rd of August, 2019. Launched, lancement, erscheint, lancio, publication. Some other languages. There you go, Warcry advert. So there you go. Anyway, yes, let's let's have a look at this then. What are you sending me, Chris? Uh, I always feel the the most intense trepid day. Don't forget, last time he sent me something, it was a it was a, a lady's cowboy hat and a fox snood. So you can only imagine what in the name of dog this might be. Now I don't know how to open this now because it's an envelope and I don't want to. It is squishy. So I'm thinking mayhap a t-shirt or some sort of wearable. And knowing that he has good close ties with a, a local shop that sells, that makes, you know, designs on t-shirts and stuff. Okay, let's just see. There is, there's a words. And there's a thing. Oh, before I get the thing out, let's just see. <sighs> he says, dear Mr. Wolf. Thank you for agreeing to test our new range. You did, you may not remember, but you did, honestly. Uh, please find and close the test item for the new item. The test item for the new item. That's a weird sentence. For grossmerch.co.uk. See, he's getting me to pimp his shizzle in my shows. It's very clever. Grossmerch.co.uk. Thank you very much for being our test hamster. We look forward to your opinions on the item. Uh, also included is a miniature for your painting pile. Uh, I'm working on scaling it up some more, but having issues with print time, I'll get there. Chris, bringing Pimpim to new levels of Williams, gross models. Yes, he does indeed sign it as Chris, bringing Pimping to new levels, Williams. Let's have a look. Let's have a look and see. Okay. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. I know what this is. I'm... And, oh, I don't want to handle it. Oh, duh. I know what the, I can't believe. <laughs> the thing, the funniest thing is, he spent money to get. The, oh, I know what this. I don't want to handle it. Oh, I'll just put this to one second. Oh, 
it's oh, oh god almighty it's oh it's i've touched the bit where the widget get oh it's an official oh god i hope he starts selling it i really do hope you i'm crying here it's a gross models okay it's just it's a gross models mankini oh i've touched it with my hand hang on oh this is just oh now he has of course just stuck a sticker on the front of a mankini but that makes me more nervous because how do i know what this this mankini is oh chris if you have indeed got the relationship with your t-shirt printer guys get them to print some of these for real somebody will buy and may well i hope they will wear it but somebody will oh oh dad i can't <laughs> Chris, you heathen. Uh, now I will, I will, I will blow your minds and tell you right now, this is not the first Mankini I have owned. We'll leave it at that. I'm not going to say anything more. I'm going to give that no clarifications at all. That's going to be my gift of Nurgle to your brain. <laughs> I don't even know. I don't want to handle it. I don't know where it's come from or what its history is. Oh, oh So I'm just going to... Oh, can I, I don't want to, yeah, oh, oh. I'm going to have to just, ha I'm going to have to, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Jerry, I've got to put it on top here, but, oh God, I hope it's never been worn. Oh, guys, <laughs> thank you, thank you very much, Jerry, that is fantastic, thank you very, very much, you are a, a gentleman, sir. I will definitely have an awesome time painting that. Lots of potential on there for weathering. Not fully decided what my colour scheme for their vehicles will be yet, but I've done them in a green colour scheme, so we shall see. And I do like the Admech stuff. I like painting the Skitari guys. They're really nice to paint. They're dead simple, dead fun. I will at some point film painting something like that. This will get a series anyway. Let's get a painting series anyway. And Chris, I hate you completely. I'm going to have to wash my hands in bleach. Yeah. Uh, oh, oh no, I've not hang on. I've not opened this. Oh, let me just let me just uh, wrangle that out the way. I've put it on top of my paints and that's I can never use that. I'm gonna have to throw all those paints away now. Oh, oh I forgot this, didn't I? Oh, oh I was crying there. This is let's have a look. This is what was, I know what this is. I know what this is. Dude, I'm gonna have to cut this out. Dude, this is awesome. Oh, let me get the, I haven't, I haven't got me proper cutting knife. Let me get the big scissors. Let me get the big boy. I haven't got me proper cutting knife. This is awesome. If you remember a while ago, uh, I discovered Hero Forge and uh, I'll zoom in a bit so you can see. Let's see if I can, I'll pause the camera and I'll zoom in a bit for you. There we go. Look at that. Yeah, if you remember a while ago, uh, I discovered Hero Forge, where you can design your own little tabletop characters using basic preset template arms and legs and heads and things like that. And I made a couple of characters, and one of them was this kind of dog-headed uh, dude with a biker jacket and cowboy boots and a big shooty shotgun and a cup of coffee and a badger. Badger, 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 badger. Shroom, shroom. Uh, I made this guy. Uh, and I haven't got around to ordering it from Hero Forge yet. Basically, they're a design your own character and they print it off for you. But Chris has very kindly printed this off on his 3D printer. He said he's working up on scaling it up. But look at that. It gives me an idea of what it looks like. That's brilliant. That's fantastic. So I'm going to get that painted up. Yay. Thanks very much for that, Chris. That is awesome. Badger, 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 badger. It's nice detail on that as well. It's a good print job, that. I am liking that muchly. I can see all the straps on the on the belts and stuff. So that's come out quite good. That you're getting good at this 3D printing, like, aren't you? Awesome. So there we go. So there's the three wonderful, wonderful gifts. Let me just bring the camera back out again. Sorry about that sudden jump cut again. I had to stop and start the camera again because of the heat. Oh, I do apologise. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for these for these beautiful, beautiful gifts and this. 
Uh, yes, thank you very much. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you very, very much. And thank you to everybody watching. I hope you're having a good warm summer at the minute. Go and enjoy the heat. It's impacting my filming a bit. Work is continuing on this on the Ridge Runner. Luckily for me, this is little tiny sort of 10 second film snippets. I need to film. The rest is just doing stuff off camera. So that's not so bad. Uh, after that, I've got the Cesarbi to crack on because this paint job is a test bed for the Cesarbi paint job. That's why I'm doing this now. So the first episode for this is now available for everybody. It premieres tonight the 26th of June at 8pm BST so make sure to come and watch it at 8pm tonight you'll be able to join the live chat while it premieres but from then it'll be available for everybody it was on Patreon early access I'm going to be working on the second episode today and tomorrow and then we'll crack on with the Cesarmi but that'll have to be when I can run the camera for more than five minutes without it exploding so do stay tuned for that just remains for me to say again thank you very very much for watching do take care of yourselves remember to use the Goblin Games link in the description below to save yourself up to 20% off a lot of their stuff and support this channel at the same time and i shall say take care of yourselves go make something awesome like this or that this is awesome go be awesome you there and until next time i shall say adios i mean i'm amoeba i'm just gonna talk of amoebas i'm just gonna i might have to go and just sterilize this I'd, you Especially why they're on a do-ya-be-boots-be-boots-be-boots-be-boots-be-boots-be-boots-be-boots-be-boots-be-boots-be-boots-be-boots-be-boots-be-boots-be-boots-be-boots-be-boots-be-boots-be-